<laughs> so the billet box uh, is one of the most sought after vape mods all in one uh, devices out there it's like it's like if you if you want to vape and if you want to reach the pinnacle of vaping you need to get a billet box and being a vape reviewer it's always bugged me that i didn't have a billet box so i thought of getting one but the problem was that it was dna uh, 40 and i i'm i'm out with dna 40 I, I give up with dna 40 i do not want any more devices with dna 40 so i had to skip that and then uh, they came out with the ref for b dna 60 dna 60 and i thought now that is something that i can actually uh use a dna 60 i tried on the e petite by lost vape dna 60 only the first dna 60 mod that i had and that was good so i thought yeah one day i will get myself a billet box dna ref 4 b dna uh, 60 and i knew that it's going to cost a lot of money and the problem is that uh, the problem is that i cannot get it from the billet box vapor website uh, number one whenever they open the sales it's the, the the timing the time zone is totally off for me and number two is that they do not ship to me so i knew that i had to get it from those uh facebook groups uh and get it from a flipper basically and i knew it's going to cost me money and i thought there's no hurry no hurry i can just wait and wait and maybe i'll get one cheap but then but then ha 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 i saw a listing with exactly exactly what i wanted at last i wanted a d and uh build box ref 4 b rat black the full matte black version the rat black and also wanted some panels to go along with that right because if i'm going to buy from a a flipper I do not want to buy just the billet box itself. I want all the stuff, all the stuff that I probably have to go and join like five or six different Facebook groups and wait uh, for them to start selling it to collect all the stuff. So I wanted like a, a package, a package. And then I came across a very, very good listing. As I said, billet box ref 4 B DNA 60 with stab boot sting prod stab boot panels uh the exo set and the kanga mini rba bridge and stuff like that as you can see in this picture and i knew that this was the one the ref 4 b uh, red black was brand new and the panels man i love red and to get it exactly what i wanted dna 60 red black uh stab boot red stab boot panels I knew that this is going to be it. I just had to get it. And if I if I pass, I knew I will never find the same uh, package again. You can find lots of people selling Ref 4B, DNA 40, DNA 60 in different colors and stuff. But what I wanted, this was it was like it was like a message from God saying that you you get this now. So it cost me about eight hundred eight fucking hundred dollars and here it is folks wow my billet box ref 4b dna 60 with the sting prod stab wood panels and this has got to make you jealous right this thing is beautiful this thing is so so beautiful check out the panels it's actually tinted right here and you have uh you can actually access the buttons right away stab wood button as well very very nice and when you press button you can actually see the the screen right so you can see the screen you can access wattage up wattage down and the screen is tinted so it's now red this is the normal color right now in here i have the 
steam tuners insider insider i had to go and get it um and um and I'm just trying it out right now, but I tried the mini RBA and that works really, really well. So the big question is, was it worth it? I have to be honest, as soon as I paid the seller, I was feeling bad. I, I was like, man, that is a lot of money. There's a lot of money right there. Uh, but you know, I, I really wanted a billet box uh ref for b dna 60 if it was a dna 40 it was so easy for me to just pass on that uh but it was exactly what i wanted and the panels i knew that i will not be able to find it anywhere i know i'm just justifying it uh but i like it i like it it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt if it only cost 400 bucks unfortunately it does not the panels themselves cost 240 200 euro if i'm not mistaken the panels themselves cost 200 euro and that's because it's really difficult to create panels for billet box from stair boot especially complicated stuff like this uh with the the buttons as well uh because you have to cut it really really thin and you have to put magnets on all four sides you can actually see the magnets so you can see how thin it gets uh over here so i'm assuming that it's it costs that much money number one because stink prod is a a good uh, they make really good panels and number two is because to, to get one set that actually works they probably have to throw away like three or four different uh, panels that they created that just crack or broke and stuff like that I don't know uh, but it definitely doesn't cost 800 bucks if you just get the red black uh, uh, billet box it costs about 260 US dollars I guess and then you have to get the the, the tank the bridge I'm still learning all this stuff uh, I've watched videos before of older uh, billet box and I kind of got the concept but my first day using the uh, billet box I had to learn a few things number one I had to learn how to put in the button here right so uh, the original is flat black well let me just show you so these are the original panels flat rat black they call it rat black and this was the original button they came with brand new so i had to figure out how to remove the button how to do a build on the kanga mini rba i mean i've used kanga rbas so many times i even have tutorials on my channel on how to build and wick uh for the kanga sub tank mini or top tank which is basically using the same mini rba not exactly the same uh, pretty much a 90% the same and I've done tutorials on platinum coils uh, Nickel bills. I can't really remember but I think I have three different build tutorials for the mini RBA But this one I had to also figure out how to actually uh, Put put the RBA in screw everything back and stuff like that. It was kind of fun actually it was really fun not fun like $800 fun, but fun how does it vape that's that's the important thing i've always assumed that it's going to vape just like any other uh any other mod any other um device if you know what i mean so this is basically it has a kanger um uh, i mean not right now but let's say it has a kanger uh mini rba inside shouldn't it vape exactly like a kanger sub tank mini that also uses the mini rba or kanger um, knee box or whatever it is Mm, not exactly the vape is slightly different because of the airflow um, the airflow is actually from here right the airflow is from here and then it goes underneath and goes to the mini RBA so pretty similar but not exactly the same and right now I have the steam tuners in insider It's a really, really good vape. Uh, can I get the same kind of vape from something else that costs 30 bucks? Yeah, most probably I can. But it won't look as good as this. Wow. <laughs>
Anyway, so it's just been my my first day just figuring out. It took me like three, four hours to put everything together and the bill and change the buttons and stuff like that. Uh, but I, it's it's interesting. And one thing I realized about the billet box that um, it is like a what's the word again? It's like a a hole. It's like a pit that you that you just go and throw your money a money pit, of course. Oh my god, a money pit, right? So now that I have everything, so-called everything, I can still get lots of different accessories, drip tips, uh, leather leather case, because I don't want to be carrying around an $800 box mod and not have freaking protection, you know what I mean? So leather cases, different panels, I mean, this, this thing is it's a money pit, man. If I don't control myself, I see myself spending another 800 bucks on different panels, different drip tips, different uh, bridges. I'm, I'm sorry, it's my first day. I mean, I get the terms right. Um, but I like it. I enjoy it. There's so many options, so many possibilities. I think you'll see more build box related videos on this channel. I'm already thinking about doing some build tutorials, like say for the Exoset or the uh, Steam Tuners Insider. Um, stuff like that, right? Just build tutorials for the stuff that goes inside. The stuff that goes inside right here. And I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun. So yeah, you probably won't be able to follow along uh, unless you have a billet box. Uh, but, you know, I heard that the SXK billet box clone, I think I heard that that is pretty good and it can fit the Steam Tuners Insider as well. And I think that they also have the clone version of the Steam Tuners Insider, right? I, I, if you want to get it, you can check the link in the description box uh, below for the clone version that doesn't use a DNA 60 chip. I, I don't know. There are a lot of things going on with the SXK clone, but if I'm not mistaken, they have a billet box red black clone, and they also have clones for the Exo set and the Steam Tuners Insider, right? And the clone is not really very cheap either. I cannot remember how much it comes to, but you can check the link in the description box if you want to get a feel of the billet box without spending like a ridiculous amount of money. So yeah, I do have some bias remorse. I do sometimes really question my logic i question my sense i question my spending habits but if you're a vape reviewer like me you just need to have a billet box so that when people start talking about hey billet box access at insider you at least you, you can at least you know understand what they're talking about i don't know just a short vlog to show you my latest and best vape mod the Billet Box Rev4B DNA 60 with my Sting Prod panels and my cheap $2 drip tip. <sighs> yep, definitely you'll be seeing more uh, Billet Box related videos. Okie dokie, no more smoky. Wow, <laughs> <laughs>